So after that, I would, hey, cut, get your laser off of me. Fratricide happens. It's it's so depressing, but yeah, so, Swiss cheese. So did the SEAL Team 6 guys not know that you were American? Did they think you were a different, a bad guy element that had come in? I never talked to the guys, and it was it was a target that that we meshed together. I can't, I'm not sure if we started together or they did this half, we did the other half. You know, he might have, it might have been he turned with his, had left his laser on and didn't know it. I don't know. I never talked to the guy. There were other times with the Rangers, Rangers did it where I did, found out exactly who that was. I knew the vehicle. Yeah, they just, they're looking around. They see, you know, you see a person and a guy wearing an AK vest looks very similar. So, I mean, I was super, super, super disciplined with that. Like, make sure, always make sure. Definitely no kids um, and women. And uh, even women who would, you know, have bombs. It's like, please don't do this. Please don't do this. <laughs> you know, you're trying to stop them. But... Or the guy dressed as a woman who shot my three buddies right in front of me. Well, I told you this last time we talked, Brian Gilligan it <laughs> told me that story. I, I interviewed him. And I did an interview with him. I don't know how many of these names you'll you'll recognize, but it was Brian Gilligan, Bob Keller, and Nate Dudley. We did like a group interview. Oh, cool. And and so before I talked, because Gilligan was one of those yeah. guys you're referring. So he had told me that story hmm. like a year and a half before we had ever spoken. And then another guy who was there told me that story privately. And then lo and behold, I meet you and you were also there. <laughs> It's like, what are the odds that you have all yeah. these guys? Um, that's a crazy one that how did they survive? That is something that I've not been able to wrap my head around. That's all God. And that that's becoming like a unifying story to me. There's a guy named he's he's awesome. He's a working as a sheriff's deputy and I love him so much, man. So he's he doesn't go on and tell the story. That's fine. He says you do. And that's fine. Like we're cool. Um, he taught me so much. Uh, he was one of the guys there that got shot. And, but what was funny was, uh, so after that first interview, I gave credit to who shot the, the, the man, ma'am, the, the man dressed as a woman to somebody else. It was like, blah, blah, blah. You know, we talked for like three hours and like, hey, by the way, I shot that guy six times as I was falling down with a bullet in my, <laughs> in my side. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I said, oh, so you do care about the stories. It's got to be right. He's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, because he's like, well, I don't want to, we shouldn't be telling our stories out there, but if you're going to, you know, get it right. So I'm like, All right. That is, I mean, well, that's the definition of badass that you're falling Heck to the yeah. ground after taking an AK round and you're dumping six rounds in the other direction. Yeah, that's movie shit. Yep. That's good stuff. And when that situation happened, you, the, the, correct me if I'm wrong. The three of them were in front of you, right? So you're in the yep. fourth. Yep. So they get hit. Do you, did you see where the shooter was before the shooting had started? No, I was like, so we were coming around a corner and I was just breaking the corner when, you know, the first guy's coming back. Damn it. Damn it. Cause he had been shot five times previously and he got shot every rotation. It's like George is going to get shot. He's coming back saying, damn it before, you know, as I'm here in the blast and, you know, we're flanking out to do our thing and, it was over before, before it started for us, for my team. We were behind that team, Gilligan's team. Gilligan and, took one in the gut though. Yeah. And he pulled up, uh, when we did that interview, he showed it, uh, I think he pulled up his arm too. Um, that, that's still one of the craziest stories. And every time I hear it from anyone who was there that this dude was just dressed as a woman and Gilligan told me when I interviewed him that, he was convinced that was a dude under there, but the people on the radio, mm. the people on the radio were like, no, it's not don't engage. And he was like, his exact words were when I turned and I looked and I could see a dude with facial hair. I knew I was <laughs> effed because now he's got the first shot and I don't, and I could have smoked them previously. And I didn't because the people watching above were like, it's a woman, ignore it. And he's damn lucky. He's alive. Yeah. Yeah. All three of them. And yeah, and that dude was ready to die because a lot of times they'll do that and they'll just spray automatic and like you very rarely hit somebody like that or a grenade or body bomb and they just, but this dude, I mean, he hit 
everybody he was aiming at. He was willing, ready to die. So there's a lot of warriors out there over there and they're crafty. It's not easy. Well, anybody can kill cavemen. You know, the ranger officer says, well, sir, how many cavemen have you killed? Because none of them are easy. None of them. I don't care the circumstance. I, uh, you're, you're preaching to the converted on that one. <laughs> no doubt. Um, speaking of, uh, kind of performance, you said personality will get you fired before performance does. That is a fascinating quote and mindset when it comes to being told it's time for you to go. So you said personality, what are some personality traits that are just not going to be acceptable? And then what are things you could do? Maybe you're a really good operator, but if you do, you know, you an accidental discharge or you don't show up for something, what are things that are guaranteed to get you shown the door? I think trying to be somebody you're not or trying to get there so that you can be that, which everybody is to a point, but just not being you, not being where you're at. Uh, one time I was out there shooting and we had this uh, instructor, Jerry Micklick, a guy who can freaking throw an aspirin up in the air and shoot it with a 22. I saw my, you know, and I'm, I'm having a bad day, so I'm just not hitting anything. He's like, wow, you, you really suck. And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do, man. I got to get better. <laughs> so it's just, I think being where you're at, be where you're at and be you. And if you don't know you, then learn, figure out who you are. I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and, and people see that. So commanders see that the psych see that, you know, you go through psych training they don't want, I had a cop ask me once as I'm getting a restraining order, all my weapons taken from me for doing nothing. What do you think about sending uh, criminals to the front lines? And I was like, man, I didn't even answer him, but people are that clueless, you know, like you have to have a high score to get in the infantry higher for the Rangers, the unit. You, I mean, there's got, my teammate was like the smartest ever on the wonder lick or one of them tests. You know, and he's built like a cave troll <laughs> and, you know, builds liquid cooled computers on the side. Like it's just really, really interesting people. A geni that's genius level intelligence. When, yeah. when it, so when it comes to, so you've got that answer. What is like, do they have things where it's like, there's zero tolerance for this? Like again, an accidental discharge yeah. or if they find out that, you're abusing, um, you know, drugs or whatever. If you get caught doing something like that, is it see you later? Don't even think about coming back. Yeah. I mean, so AD is that, you know, at least you're gone for a year. Maybe you can come back. Um, accidental discharge, usually alcohol related incidents are, you know, you're gone for sure. And everybody knows that same with the Rangers and, uh, you know, probably everywhere, but personality wise, I'm thinking to, to people who just like, didn't fit it usually happens pretty quick but there's some who are there maybe a year two three 